Alright, last night got pretty cold, but it was manageable. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just mentioning it that uh, it's frosty. The windows are very frosty. There's people doing some work over uh, in the distance, and they might hear me talking, so I'm just going to keep it a little quiet. <clears throat> I do have uh, one complaint, and that is... Um, just my God, it, it's the intestinal area where the appendix is. On the, if it's on the right side, it's uh, it gets cramped quite frequently. It's a pain, and I notice that my intestines tend to get painful and cramped when I eat beans, type of thing. Eat a lot of beans or nuts. Um, is certain foods that cause that pain. Lentils, maybe even rice. Um, and I need to overcome that. I need to get, I need to stop that type of pain from happening. I think it's diet, you know, and, and I hope it's not a, like a cancer or a basor. You know, those basors, B-E-Z-O-A-R, where it's like something like, a tissue that starts pulling from the inner inner lining and just kind of grows into a tumor and then a cancer. Uh, I can't have that. All oh, the protein powders I've been consuming might be causing problems uh, with my in di my digestion. It's like they they cause problems. There's a lot of farting. I fart a lot, and uh, when I eat. When I ate uh, a big bag of peas, I farted all day. It was uh, quite embarrassing. It's not easy to sit in the library and have that problem. Um, certain foods really cause the problem. And I think I'm eating just too much of that. Because when I fart a lot, that's going to be pain in the gut too. That's also a part of it. Um, so I have to watch my diet. And I just realized that I could eat potato flakes and milk. I've stopped consuming the fresh milk to save money, but I'm thinking I'm going to just not focus on saving money as much, all right, and try to work on my diet, consider it like a medicine, a medical approach. And that's not always uh, the cheapest route to take, but I'm going to start eating more. I, I generally don't uh, crave potato flakes. I love potatoes if I can freshly bake them, but that's impossible to do. Um, but I'll, I'll start looking at, I'll start consuming more potato flakes and fresh milk. I have, I, I abandoned fresh milk. And because of that, I had to abandon the potato flakes. Okay, and they just but the flakes taste terrible by themselves. So I, I I've been eating a lot less potato flakes. Whereas before, when I was consuming fresh milk, I was eating a lot of potato flakes, mixing them in with the milk. I would probably enjoy mixing them once a week. Uh, too much. I couldn't do it every day. That's too much. So, I probably want to purchase like a half gallon of fresh milk every every few days or so, maybe maybe twice a week, and and then mix it with the potato flakes because I believe potato flakes help feed the intestines better and keep things in better order. Bananas, apples, none of that, none of that works. Cons potatoes really seem to help with my gut. That's my theory that I'm going into this now with. Um, nuts, uh, beans, well not, uh, nuts and certain beans, um, like especially lentils. There's just some foods, yeah, I can feel it again. It's a cramping pain in my intestines. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna start incorporating the potato flakes so that I can consume more potatoes in general and see if that can fix my gut issue uh, because it's, it's very annoying and it's, it can get worse.